Hi, today we are going to look at another type of speed problem which is generally classified as catching up. First, to understand what this catching up means, we are going to take a look at how it works out. Now, you can see squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 10. The mouse is at square 4. And we are going to do it something like a turn based game, right? So every round or every turn, this mouse can move one square. So for one round of game, the mouse can move one square. And now we have a cat. And the cat can move two squares in one round. The mouse is at square number four. In one round, it can move to square number five. Whereas the cat, it's now in square number one. So in one round, it can move to one, two, two squares. So it will be at square number three. And you can also see that the mouse has got a head start. It is three squares ahead of the cat. Now let's say round one. Let's say what happens in round one. The mouse moves by one square. The cat moves by two squares, which is one and two. Now we go to round two. Again, the mouse moves by one square. The cat moves by two squares and ends up at square number five. Now we go on to round three. The mouse moves by one square and the cat moves by two squares, ends up at the same square as the mouse and it catches up with the mouse. All right. Now let's see how did this work out or how do we find out without actually going through the simulation. How do we find out how much time does the cat take to catch up with the mouse? First, we look at what is called as the catch up distance. That is the distance between the mouse and the cat. And you can see that the catch up distance is 1, 2, 3, 3 squares. And the difference in speed between the mouse and the cat. We can see that the cat moves two squares in one round, whereas the mouse moves only one square in one round. So the difference in speed is two squares minus one square, which is one square. Now the time to catch up, how much time does the cat take to catch up with the mouse? is given by catch up distance divided by the difference in speed. So in this case, the catch up distance is three squares and the difference in speed is one square. So three over one gives us three rounds. So this is a typical example of how we solve a catch up related speed problem. So its answer is three rounds. Now we are going to see about something similar. You see Ben starts 100 meters ahead of Sheila. So Ben is here. He is 100 meters ahead of Sheila. Ben's speed is 60 meters per minute while Sheila's speed is 80 meters per minute. So the question is how long would Sheila take to catch up with Ben? Ben is also moving. This is a timer which is going to tell us like how much time does Sheila take to catch up with Ben. Let's see. Let them get start. And Sheila managed to catch up in five minutes. Now let's go back in detail and see how this works out. Ben starts 100 meters ahead of Sheila. So the catch up distance here is 100 meters and the speed of Ben is 60 meters per minute. 
Sheila is 80 meters per minute. So time taken to catch up is given by the catch up distance which is 100 meters divided by the difference in speed between Ben and Sheila. So that's 80 meters per minute minus 60 meters per minute which is 20 meters per minute that's the difference in speed so to calculate the time taken to catch up we have to divide the catch up distance 100 meters by the difference in speed in this case 100 divided by 20 which is 5 minutes